We're having fun here. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks for watching. We did a video here on the channel, Barry Henson and I. Barry is one of the top players in the world, plays on the Asian tour, huge resume. That was a short game video that was really popular. So I wanted to come back and do another video with you, Barry. We're going to do something we've done in the channel before, a game of horse. Okay. You versus me. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then during it too, with the extra caveat, you've got to give us a little instruction during it. Okay. And I'll let you go first. Okay. Pick, pick okay. The, the target and the, and the shot. All right. Um, well, should we start off with that pin that's about uh, yeah. 40 yards there? I see it. Okay. I'm going to hit one. Uh, I'm going to give it a little maybe four bounce stopper here. Greens are kind of soft today. So... Let's go here. One, two, two three, four. four. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Maybe Appreciate a little it. bit of grass on the groove, but we'll take that. <laughs> That's really good. I think your inside fills three foot circle there. Okay, I can make that. That's an up and down. So when you were doing your shots, was that like a your 50-50 feel? Yeah. Yeah. Pass that. Go. Oh, it's not gonna go. Go. Too much sauce. Okay, I have an H. You got an eight. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're inside of the two foot circle. So, really good shot. If you can get an H on me, I'm going to be pretty impressed because this is the strength of my game. Okay, good. So, you better pick your go to. Do we alternate now? Is that how that works? No, you, you could blank me. I you, get to you, keep get going. The, you get to keep going. You get to keep going until you've made three in a row and then it switches. Okay. Just, just okay. like a uh, basketball horse. Okay, all right. So I can just call out, you gotta do a tie spinner, and then if you don't- No, 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 uh, no, there's no caveats. You can just pick oh, a no spot caveat. and a okay. hole. There's no, gotcha. You can never say standing on one foot or with ah, an eye closed. Okay. Yeah, no caveats. All right, we'll just do uh, a normal one here. To the same, to the same, same thing? Same pin, same So pin, is this yeah. gonna be more your 25-75? Yes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So in the video that we did, I'll link it, everybody. He's got it off his right pinky toe. So I want that thing kind of running. Oh, I gave you a little space there. I gave you a little space Very there. Very little. There's you got that. Coming into this. This is, this is your chance. Wow. Imagine the feather in. in <laughs> <laughs> if you, you take me down in a horse yeah. game. Gosh. Yeah, if yeah, I get an H off viral. of you and $5, I think I can get a venti. <laughs> Uh-oh. No. It's, oh, it's not I, I got I away with one hard. there. I didn't hit it hard. All right, I have H-O. Okay, I got away with that one. Should we go have a little more distance here? Yeah, I like that. Okay. Barry, if you're like going into a tournament and you, you want to practice your short game, but you only have like 10 minutes, what are the kind of shots you like to practice? Yeah, I'm going to hit, definitely I'm going to hit a couple bunker shots. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, if, if I'm like strapped for time and I haven't mm -hmm. hit my bunker shots yet, I definitely want to get at least two in. Then I'm going to hit my, you know, just off the green, kind of my leading edge shots just to get a feel. And then maybe I'll hit a couple off the bounce and out of the rough and I'm good to go. So I can do that in two minutes. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. And when you're saying a couple off the bounce, I don't think we talked about it because you were always using the leading edge. Before. Yeah. What are the shots off the bounce? So a couple off the bounce would be, you know, neutral to hands back shot. Oh, okay. So where so I expose that So once the hands are bounce, actually yeah. in the... So where, where I'm hitting those spinners, those mm -hmm. are off the bounce. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anything it's that's... with negative shaft lane almost. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Or yeah. even 90, you know, vertical Vert, straight. Yeah. yeah. You know, Phil, he's, he doesn't like this. He says you're either back here or you're here. Right, right. He's not big on neutral, but yeah. I've kind of found a way to play from neutral. Gotcha. All right, so you're going to that same hole. I'm going to that same hole. Okay, yeah, I got gotcha. you. And those balls, I guess, are in play. Those are landmines. That is just rub of the green. If you that's hit rub one of the green. Those. Okay. Ooh, that's got some sauce. That's got oh, some sauce. Oh, he kicked to the right. Oh, yeah. Go in. That's got sauce. That is inside a foot. <laughs> that was really good looking. I am consistently short. I knew uh -oh. I would do that again. Uh-oh. Neutral grip with just open, open uh, face. Yeah. And I can still produce enough spin on that. It just gives me a more flatter trajectory. All right, my choice. I'm H-O-R. Okay. Seems like the tougher the shot, the better you get. So let's go bone stock. Maybe that's my only chance. <laughs> bone stock. This will probably be my leading edger then. Let me get my shot out of your way. Okay. Hmm. Better. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't 
don't know oh. if that was lucky or unlucky. Uh, it was a lot of spin, I think. Okay. So I'll give you another shot here. This is my yeah. three knuckle down. So if I want to take off spin and I'm mm. running up a hill, which yeah. I kind of am here, but I got a 60 or a 54 or 50, 48, I'm going to, I'm going to get these three knuckles going down, which is basically going to hood the club, going to take off all the spin. And then I'm just going to hold that through the hitting zone. Yeah, I can see you put a little uh, turf even on the toe side. Yeah, so feeling, it's yeah. going to look a little bit like this. So I'm going to get those three knuckles under, and then I'm going to really just drive it in the ground, and it's going to take off the spin and, and uh, we'll run towards the hole. Right. I'm trying to land this just on the green. Ball's back. Uh, it got a little more spin on it than I wanted. <laughs> you might have got one there. We need the tape measure. <laughs> I'm giving it to you. All right. You feather, got an feather in the cap. You got okay. an H. Good. Or I got an H. You have an H. Okay. I have H O R. It okay. is my choice. Okay. Bone stock C was the strategy. They, they, they got <laughs> me a letter here. I went too caveat there. Yeah, yeah. You were trying to be the teacher. I was trying that to be was, a little that caveat. That was the, that was the mistake. All right, let's uh, put you in a situation that might instruct us somewhat. Find over here, we don't have a really great down, down slope, but we do have a little bit of one. Yeah, I like down slopes. We're on this down slope here. Okay. We're gonna go to the same hole. Okay. So this, I've always, you know, heard the thing, you wanna get your shoulders matched with the agree. slope. I would agree, yeah. And keep it simple yeah. and let the loft do the work. Oh. Ah, just not hitting it hard enough. That's. So when my when my spins. chipping is really on, yeah, this is a shot I really like to work on because it the down slope. Yeah, because yeah. to get the proper contact here, you you need to have really good technique. So I'm gonna hit this one and have quite a bit of spin because I've been I feel like um my technique's really good right now. And if you can do that, then then you know. Well, fault set fixes wise, why yeah. why do you think this is so much is, uh, is so difficult for people? Is to get it the like right, a mental thing about getting in the air? Or it's it's just getting, like you said, getting that proper tilt. Like you'll okay. see me, I'll, I'll sometimes get this right heel off the ground just so I get that weight there. Because if you don't get the weight there, you're going to hit, you know, shots that are inconsistent. Okay. So the hardest part is getting the weight there. So I almost, you, you almost see, I'll get this heel off the ground here just so I'm able to maintain that weight over there. Love it. Oh, that's going to spin so much. Sit. Sit. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. H-O-R-S. Yeah. All right, final one, maybe. That light was kind of blinding there off the, the right of my eye. I don't know if you noticed that. That was kind of tricky. Yeah, H-O-R-S. Do, do you want to do a short-sided one? Sure. Okay. Should we use this as a minefield sure, right yeah. here? Yeah. So you got to basically hit like the perfect shot. If we go the other side of the path, this is really impossible. Yeah, me. let's do that. Okay. All right. So now we're talking eh, 30 yards off of a kind of firm hard pen, hard pen line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we're short sighted. We'll, stop it. All right. we'll give ourselves a decent lie here though. So there's a couple ways I see this shot. I see the shot bouncing into the hill, releasing. Yeah. I see the shot landing on the green, but, but the contact has to be perfect. Um, so when I have a shot like this, I'm going to take practice swings and feel like what feels good to you? What feels good to me, yeah. Yeah, what are you feeling? What was my high percentage play here? I kind of like bouncing in the hill, but I also feel like the green's soft enough to land it. So I'm going to go high. Okay. And oh, so I, this, is, this is similar to what we were working on? Yeah. So, Big left hand, open face. You're yeah. still hitting down on a little bit. Yeah. And if I catch this right, it should be perfect. Bites. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, to be that's really good. Yeah, I mean, I so got the, a ten footer. It for reminds me. Okay, Barry, I'm gonna go for that dark part of the fringe. Yeah. I've been short all day, so I'm gonna either I'm gonna get it there and sneak one, or I'm just gonna. You gonna bounce it in? Is that what we're going for here? Yeah, I'm gonna bounce. We're gonna bounce it. I'm gonna try I to like keep that. it about head high, and then. Nice. Oh, don't get the minefield. That was pretty good though. That's a walk off. I, I would like love that. that. I, mean, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. You're just trying to like have some kind of putt from that's yeah. a really tough situation. Who has it, Mike? Uh, Barry has it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good game. Good game. Good All right. Game. Got a letter though. Yeah. I like that shot though. That was good. That yeah, was the was other cool. shot that I saw 
You just needed it to drive in a little lower. Yeah, be more confident. Like, yeah, so uh, it would be me, more of a knuckles down. Yeah, so let yeah. me give you a trick that I do when sure. I have that shot. So if I if I was assessing that shot, there I would go. have walked up here. And what I do, and this is completely legal, okay? I really feel what my feet are telling me. Now, I'm not pressing into the ground. I'm not doing anything. Right. But I'm trying to assess how soft this is. Right. So if I want to land it in here. Yeah. Sometimes you'll walk up the hill and you'll and hear you like might, squish, yeah, squish. Yeah, you might and see a squish real, and like, well, yeah. I can't play that shot. Yeah. So just by me walking here and I've done this my whole career, mm -hmm. I can feel that, okay, this is going to be a soft bounce, but it's not going to be a hard bounce. So I need to be, I can be aggressive here. Yeah. So if I was considering this as the shot which you hit, I would I would want to drive it pretty good because I know that first bounce is going to deaden it pretty yeah. decently. And then also when I'm on the green, you know, if I'm trying to land this on the green, I would come up here and I'd, I'd take in that information. What am I feeling? Well, okay, yeah, because sometimes golfers will get a surprise. They'll hit the green and it'll be like concrete yes. and sometimes it'll just stop. But you can yeah. feel that in your feet. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, at the U.S. Open, we're on there on Tuesday and we're feeling in our feet how firm the greens are getting in and yeah. they were actually getting out of control. Mm -hmm. So what they did is they actually softened them up yeah. and then we got some marine layer on Wednesday night and that's why you saw scores. the score so low because it, yeah. it was getting out of control but then they had to back it off a little. Let your feet give you information mm -hmm. on how the ball is going to react around the greens. What's your favorite game that people, I know a lot of people do short game with games, you know? Yeah. Like what's your favorite game to play to, sharp, to kind of sharpen up your short game? Yeah, we play 21, so. No, it's, I mean, it's for solo though. Oh, a solo game. Yeah. Uh, so on putting, I have a game, I call it the Star Drill. A caddy gave it to me mm -hmm. 10, probably 10 years ago, where I take, uh, I take the, the, the alignment stick, which is about four feet. Yeah. And uh, I put five tees around there and I, and I go in a star. So you see some guys go in a circle, yeah. but I go in a star. So I'm never, I'm kind of going in different spots. So I'm gonna putt 25 putts. Yeah, right. I'm gonna have five sets. I'm gonna start in a different location each time. Mm -hmm. And from four feet, I wanna make tour averages about 23 and a half out of 25. Okay. So I wanna make sure I get 24. Mm -hmm. And then I move that back to eight, eight feet, but in the spaces of that star. Mm -hmm. And then I wanna make about 16 out of 25. Wow. And that's kind of tour average mm -hmm. uh, with putting. So that's a putting game I do. Chipping, I just take always take three balls and I chip to different locations. I don't really have a game it's for chipping. It's more like artistic, creative. Yeah. To see what feels good to you that day. Yeah, I'll just try to hit all the shots that we've mm -hmm. kind of hit through this game. You know, I'll hit the leading edge, I'll hit the hands forward, I'll, I'll make sure all my feels are good. I'll hit yeah. a couple, you know, shots maybe that I'll use once in a tournament, mm -hmm. um, like a super flop or something. Cool. And uh, just get comfortable, you know, with the conditions that the day has. If you guys have any questions, send them to Barry's Instagram. Uh, you just, in his comments, go to Instagram, Barry Henson is his name. I'm gonna put it in the description of this video and very important to click the subscribe button. And that's it, thanks for watching, bye. All right, great. We got a lot of good stuff.